Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with NBC Sports Radio. It's Tuesday, August 4th. Before I tell you what I'm betting, it's time to rant and run. How about this? August and the Mets are in first place. They thumped the Marlins last night. They can do this, and this is a great story with all that great talent they have with the pitching staff. The bats are waking up now. The Cespedes trade was huge. They have 42 games left against teams under 500. They have 20 games left against the Marlins, Phillies, and Red Sox. So all of a sudden, the Nationals can't buy a win. They have their second four-game losing streak of the season. The Mighty Mets swept them at home. The Bats have really struggled. They were down 6 nothing before they rallied in the ninth inning uh, yesterday. Too little, too late. They send Scherzer to the mound tonight. So this is why they paid him all that money, see if he can stop the losing streak and come up with a big effort. And with two months left in the regular season, the pennant race is now shit. wild card, division races, a lot of fun here is, uh, you know, Toronto's right there. Huge series with the Twins. Price shuts them down yesterday. Nice job getting Price and Tulowitzki. Everyone's in it in the American League with a wild card. Angels get a much-needed win, come from behind, down 3-0 early to beat the Indians. So, Angels are in a funk. Astros playing good ball. National League, the Cubs are playing well. How about the Giants? Oh, they blow a seven-run lead against the Braves. I know a friend of the show, Joe Fortenbaugh, tweeted that out. That was a brutal loss because their schedule is difficult the rest of the way, and they couldn't hold down the Braves. So going to be stuff, uh, fun to watch here the next couple months, what happens with Major League Baseball. Some bad beats the last few days. I mean, again, the Giants can't hold a seven-run lead, and then they have the lead in extra innings, and they give up a two-run walk-off. The bad beats from the total standpoint on Sunday, it's 2 to nothing Marlins in the top of the ninth, and the game goes over. You get a three-run walk-off after the Do uh, the Padres had tied it to two, and then the Dodgers and the Angels, where Ethier hits a walk-off, a two-run shot, to put it over seven. That was a 5-3 final. Two vicious beats and happened in about a two-hour span as well. So uh, August and September should be a lot of fun. Time to tell you what I'm betting. The three featured pro picks up at pregame.com. Nover did it again. Steven Nover hit another three-star. That is 13 of 14. The run that he's on. Oh, my God. He's got a two-star that goes today. You'll want to grab that. This What what can you say about this guy? It's like the 2007 Patriots. He just, he's blowing people out. He makes it look easy. 12-1, and one, Greg Shaker again. Well done, sir. He won yesterday. That's seven in a row with his three-star picks. And Greg uh, is coming right back with a three-star total destroyer. Seven in a row, 10 of 11. You want to grab that today. Fezzik has released his... Uh, Customer Appreciation Hall of Fame game pick. That's Sunday with the Steelers and the Vikings. That's just $14. And it's rare. Goodfellas got a three-and-a-half star pick. Game of the month goes in Major League Baseball. You want to get that with Goodfella. So those are the obvious picks. The featured pick. We got what, the run Novers on Shaker. Goodfella with a three-and-a-half star and Fezzik's pick as well. Uh, Paulie's pick from the pros. Again, this comes from the pros. Not me. I'm not a handicapper. It's handicapping the cappers. Three pros have landed on this game today, so this is a three-star game of the week. And I can't give too much away because with the total, it's just when you look at one pitcher's ERA sky high, we have another pitcher coming over new to the team, so I don't want to give too much away with the analysis and uh, grab that for just $20. Again, handicapping the cappers, uncovering that hidden gem, bringing it to you every day where three pros have landed on this one, and that's Paulie's pick from the pros today. Again, not my pick. I tried to do this uh, for a couple months. I couldn't do it. So bravo to all these guys and a lot of and a great job giving out the winners here on pregame. Uh, we try to make it, uh, that would be seven of six, seven of ten in Major League Baseball. Sorry. That's it. Be seven of ten with the winner today if we can give that out. The free pick continues to be on a roll. Betting half a unit on this one. This, again, backing Coach Fletcher had the winner yesterday. Marlins, Mets over. Mets got there themselves. He's on the Angels. That's the free pick over as we try to make it 6 of 8 with the free pick betting half. You don't know that one. Click the write-up for his full analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll see you tomorrow on pregame.com.